this is Julie with Be The Holic, and in this video I'm going to teach you how to make a set of four handmade memory wire Christmas ornaments. So I've done two already. We've got two different styles. This one here is a nice classic round shape with a little angel charm dangling in the middle. And this is made out of bracelet memory wire. And then over here we have this spiral which is nice and is long to go on your Christmas tree. And this is made out of ring memory wire. So we're going to show you how to make both of them here and the supplies you're going to need and this is actually half of my supplies because the other half has already been used on these two ornaments so you imagine what you get when you purchase this project but we've got memory wire in the bracelet size as well as the ring size we have a nice large hole bead a charm now this is another angel charm but she's facing the other direction another tassel and then an assortment of mainly check glass beads here. So different sizes and different shapes and then this wonderful seed bead mix as well. And then you're gonna need a couple eye pins. In terms of your tools, you're gonna need a pair of memory wire cutters, a pair of flush cutters, chain nose pliers, and round nose pliers. And that's going to be it. Quick note as to why you need two different cutters. So, Memory wire is a steel wire and it's great because it's incredibly strong. It retains its shape and that's why it works for this project. But because it's so strong, it is very hard to cut through. Not if you have a pair of memory wire cutters, it's easy. So you just put it into the cutter jaw, snap, doesn't take a lot of pressure, cuts very easily and smoothly. If I was to try to cut it with these pliers, what would happen, and I know this because I have done this before accidentally, you'll actually end up with a little hole in your plier most likely because it's just too tough to cut with these guys. So definitely use the memory wire pliers and then have a pair of your regular jewelry pliers for your other projects and a couple other little details in this project. So I wanna go ahead and I wanna start with the round one. And I wanna start with the round one because we are trying to make our supplies stretch and work for four complete ornaments. I know I'll have enough of the red and crystal seed beads to complete this one as an exact duplicate. This one here, I might have to add in some of the little golden seed beads if you look over at my mix here. I haven't used any of the gold ones yet and we'll see if I need to or not. I'm not quite sure, but I know I have enough of all the other beads. So we are gonna start by cutting our bracelet memory wire. And if you like this stuff, we do have a lot of great project tutorials um, on how to do different pieces of memory wire jewelry over at beadaholic.com, which is where you'll also find all these supplies for sale. So we want one full loop, which would be to right here, and then we're gonna cut it so it overlaps by about an inch and a half. We're gonna trim it later at the end, but for now, let's just give ourselves plenty of room. And we can set that aside, and you've got a lot left over for other projects. So this is what we have. And we need to create a way that, the, that we're gonna stop the beads from just sliding right off. To do that, we're gonna make a little loop at the end. So here's the end. We're gonna grab it with our round nose pliers and we're actually gonna go ahead and, and bend it backwards because I want that loop to stick up because that's what I'm gonna attach my little um, ornament hook to. And I'm gonna make the ornament hook out of ring memory wire. So we got a little loop just like that. And now we're going to put our beads on here. You don't need a needle. You're gonna use the memory wire itself as the needle. And if you look at our pattern, it's basically four seed beads and almost like this candy cane striping of red and crystal. So crystal red, crystal red, a bicone in this pretty green emerald color, another four seed beads, and then we're gonna put a silver rondelle and then another four seed beads and another bicone. And we're just gonna repeat that pattern all the way around. So let's go ahead and pull some of these over. So they're right in front of us. This is a really pretty classic Christmas mix. Okay, so let's start by doing a crystal and a red. And you see there's a matte red and a shiny red. You can definitely use whatever you like or you can mix them up. So there's my four beads and then I wanna add a bicone. And when they slide down, they're gonna stop on that little loop you created. So let's do another same series of four. Definitely though, feel free to do whatever you like with the adding of beads and the pattern. There's, this is really supposed to be a jumping off point for you that then you can just do what you like, but you'll have the basic idea of how to construct these. 
So instead of adding another bicon, we're going to add a silver bead. These are pretty, they're faceted and they sparkle, which will be nice when you've got the twinkling lights of your Christmas tree. And then we're going to do another four of these seed beads. And now we're ready for another bicone, and we have just completed a full sequence. So here is our pattern. So you've got the bicone, the four seed beads, the silver bead, the four seed beads, and the bicone, and now we're just gonna repeat that again. So we're gonna do four more seed beads, a silver bead, four more seed beads, a bicone, and continue all the way around until we get right to about here. And then we're gonna stop and we're gonna trim it and make our second little loop. So I've done my surround, you see I've, I've hit that point where I have that loop already. Now I don't really wanna end with a bicone. It's just gonna be a little harder to get my pliers in there with a big bead right there. So I'm gonna add just one more bead. I think I'll add a red, just like so. And now you're gonna to wanna to trim your memory wire and you want a Let's see, maybe a little over a fourth of an inch. Just cut that piece off and now we're gonna make our loop on this side. And you can try to match the size, look at the size loop you made to begin with. And try to match that size pretty closely. See how we do here. Okay, so now we've got two loops. And it's okay that they overlap a little bit here because you can just pull it like so. Now we need to make our little dangle. So we've got the angel here. And to create this little dangle, we're gonna take an eye pin and we're gonna put on a red bead, a bicone, a silver, a bicone, and one more red bead, just like so. And now we're going to make a simple wire loop on this side so it matches. So to do that, you're gonna just bend your wire over at about a 45 degree angle. Take your round nose pliers and make a loop. And so we're just bending it over the top of that wire. We're rotating our pliers up top and we're pulling our wire around so that it crisscrosses and it makes a nice little loop. and then you're gonna trim it. So that is gonna be basically the, the little anchor point for our angel. Now she does come with a jump ring, but we really don't need this jump ring on here. For, so we're gonna find the opening to the jump ring and we want that facing up away from us. And in this case, we're gonna use our round nose pliers and our chain nose pliers to grip the jump ring on either side and twist it open. Now we're gonna take our loop, open it up, Slip on our little angel and close it on up. So we want her to also hang facing forward. So just double check that she will. And let's see if it's like this, if she's going here. So I want to move, I want to change the orientation of this loop a little bit so that it's going to make sure that she faces forward. So I'm just going to grip it and grip both of them and twist. So I want the two loops basically going in the same direction. So when it hangs, she's gonna face forward. And we're gonna hang it now from these two loops. I'm gonna put them together. And this honestly can be a little bit of the tricky part. It's not hard, it's just kind of finicky if that makes sense, to get it onto both of them at the same time without them slipping off. You only have to hook it once though, and then we're gonna be able to close it on up and it's gonna be secure. Okay, we're through one. I think we're through the other one. Okay. Do you like to twist? All right.
There we go. Now close up before it slips off. <laughs> okay. There she is on. And this is, I'm going to do something that we don't normally do in jewelry making just to kind of make sure that that is closed good because it's a little hard to get in here. I'm going to squeeze it a little bit. I want to make sure that loop is closed. All right, we've got her. Yay. All right, now we're going to make a hook. So here's my ring memory wire. It actually had two pieces to it. And that was one pack of memory wire. And so for this, we're going to pull it out. And now this is again something you don't normally do. We're going to purposefully misshape our memory wire. So we're going to stretch it out like so. You see how it starts to kind of become a larger spiral. And then we're going to go ahead and grab our memory wire cutters. And we're going to cut it. So this is what we've got now. And you can make this longer or shorter. Again, I'm gonna pull it out of its shape a little bit. And now I'm going to take my round nose pliers. And I'm gonna create a loop and I'm gonna make a little bit bigger loop by going a little bit further along the nose of my round nose. And I'm gonna make a nice loop. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is open that up, slip on my pretty ring, and close it on up. And we have a hook now to hang our ornament. And so that first one is now done. You can see our set of two. Now we're going to make the second style of ornament, which is this fun long dangle ornament using the ring memory wire. And you can see it has a pretty focal here at the base, this nice big sparkly bead, and then a tassel. So I want to do this part to begin with so it's ready to go for us once we finish that part. So we're going to start again with an eye pin. And this time, actually I want to show you a, a quick thing. If I was to just put on the pretty focal bead, it would slip right off. So a trick, if you like these large hole beads, and they are very pretty, you can anchor them and really sandwich them with these bicones. cones. And so that's what we're going to do. It stabilizes them because the tip of the bicones fit inside of them. So that is now nice and secure. It's not going to fall off. And we are going to create another simple wire loop. So here again, bend your wire at about a 45 degree angle. Grip it where it exits the bead with your round nose pliers. Go up and over your pliers. Rotate them to the top. Pull around so your wire crisscrosses, and then trim. So that part is done. And now we're going to open up this little loop that we just made, like so, and slip on the jump ring portion of our tassel. And then you're just going to close up that loop. So that dangle is ready to go. And I know I made that look really easy, and if you're not familiar with jewelry making, know that you just might need to practice that a little bit, but it's not very hard and you will get the hang of it. Now we're ready to go ahead and do the ring memory wire. So you see it's this nice tight coil and we are going to want to have, well, depending on how you count, you've got three complete loops and really two half loops. You can make this longer if you want or shorter, but we're going to start by pulling the memory wire just slightly out of shape to expose these loops. We're going to cut more than needed again. I think that's just easier with this particular project. Just cut a little bit extra and then it's so easy to trim and you're really not going to waste very much at all. So we're going to create a loop on the end using our round nose again. Okay. So there we've got that little loop and that's going to be basically our bead stopper. I'm going to straighten it up just a little bit, okay? And now I want to pull this out of shape, which is so funny because normally you don't want to do that with memory wire. But in this case, I do want it to be more of like a corkscrew and really more mimic the shape I did on the first ornament. So that's looking good. And I know I'm going to trim this part off, so I don't mind misshaping this piece. Again, this is going to work as my needle. 
So I was looking at the example I did earlier, and it looks like I did six beads, and then I started to do this, this cluster here. So I'm gonna do that, and then around here, it looks like I did nine beads. I probably did that so that I ended up with a fun little cluster closer to this focal bead. Again, do whatever you want. This is all about your own creativity. Feel free to follow my exact pattern, but this is also a really great opportunity to just play with designs and patterns. I'm gonna scoot these guys all down here, just so I've got them to work with. And I think I'm gonna go green, there we go. Green, crystal, red, whoops. Green, crystal, red, green, crystal, red. These are fun because they just spiral on down and then they rest on that loop. And then we're gonna pick up one of these pretty little round green beads followed by a silver bead and then a nice big red bead and then another silver bead and another green bead. And this is really kind of our, our little focal cluster of larger beads between the seed beads. And so those guys just slide down as well. And now I wanna do nine beads between these clusters. So I'm gonna go ahead and do, I just had a green bead here. So maybe I'll start with a red this time and red Crystal, or let's do red, green, crystal, and let's just repeat that. Red, green, crystal, and red, green, crystal. And on this one, I'm not really paying much attention to whether it's a matte red or a shiny red. And then we're gonna repeat this sequence here. We've got a nice big green bead, silver bead, a red bead, a silver bead, and a green bead. And let's shake all those guys down. So this is starting to definitely look like the sample. And I'm gonna continue doing that until I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six of those nice big red beads on interspersed with the coordinating beads. And then I'll do a little bit up here to get a little bit higher and then show you how to do the hook. So keep doing it, so nine beads, and then a little cluster of these bigger beads, nine beads, a little cluster of the bigger beads, and so forth. So I finished adding all the big bead clusters with nine beads interspersed between them, and then I've done nine beads up here. I do wanna make it just a little bit taller, so I'm gonna add just a few extra beads, maybe just three. But you do see we have extra beads left over, which is nice, so you can make it longer. I'm gonna scoot these guys away since I'm done with them, and I wanna have a, a nice surface here to show you what's happening. So now we're gonna finish our memory wire on this side. And so to do that, you'll see here with our example, we just made another loop. Whoops, they wanna be friends. Okay, so we're gonna cut the memory wire again, and we're gonna leave a little over a quarter of an inch. Trim it off, take our round nose pliers and you can make this loop in whatever direction you wanna make it in. There we go. And then just make sure it's closed, okay? And now I actually wanna take this and just bend it up a little bit more like so. And now I wanna stretch out this a little bit more. Okay, and now let's go ahead and add a hook to this one. So let me set this guy aside for a minute. I'll add this in a second, but I'm gonna take a couple loops, pull it out, trim it off. Okay, and on this one, I'm gonna go like this. I'm just gonna fold it outward. So I made like a big S, which is kind of fun. And then let's go ahead and trim it and make another loop. Okay. A 
loop there. We have a nice hook. You can stretch it out if you want. And now we're going to add our dangle first. We're just going to open up the little simple loop we have here. Slide it on to the memory wire loop. Close that loop back up. Go to the other side and on this one we're going to open this loop. Slide this one on and I think I'm going to actually force the memory wire up a little bit. It's going to make it easier to hang. Slide that on and then we're going to close this loop. And I want this to definitely stay on here. So again, what we don't normally do in jewelry making is squish these, but I do want this squished a little bit because I really want that to stay shut. I'm working a little bit of a weird angle here. There we go. All right, we have another ornament. So we've made our sets of ornaments. So we've got two of each style here. And these are all made out of memory wire and beads and charms and tassels, so fun things. All the supplies are available at beadaholic.com as well as a lot of other tutorials for both Christmas projects, ornaments, as well as memory wire projects. So I hope you enjoyed this project and have a very happy holiday season and have fun making a bunch of handmade ornaments.